Two weeks ago, on live saw the release of Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine, a third person action shooter where you do as much hack and slashing as you do shooting to bring down large numbers of enemies. The game has positive to mixed reviews, worth a demo for sure. And in the play pack, Ancient Spirits Columbus Legacy, a hidden object adventure. Dark Star 1, a space simulator with RPG elements. Dracula 3, Path of the Dragon, a gothic horror point and click, set in the 1920s. And lastly, Saints Row 2, an open world game set in a modern day city. And last week in the play pack, Stalker Shadows of Chernobyl. In this game, you play in an alternate reality where the Chernobyl power plant had a second meltdown and you are around to see the results. Comparisons can be made to Fallout 3 in that it's an RPG shooter that takes place in a post-nuclear disaster area. It's got good reviews, so this comes highly recommended. Fate of the Pharaoh, a fast-paced casual strategy game where you build up your Egyptian empire, build homes and gather resources, clear roads and collect taxes. It's fun and addictive. Siberia 2. This is a point and click adventure where you play as Kate Walker, a lawyer who abandons her life in New York and joins an eccentric inventor in a land in Russia called Siberia where prehistoric mammoths still roam. This is one of the best games in the fading genre, so give this a go if you like the point and clicks. Colonel, would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. Now some news. The cloud is getting bigger, says online fans forum user Ultralord, who has been busy shoring up the numbers, using order numbers provided to him by community members, and with certain assumptions, a steady growth can be seen over the last year, followed by an explosion over the last month. OnLive wants to put kiosks in your local retail store. Tired of seeing Rock Band stuck in that Xbox, Steve Perlman vows to let you demo any game, not just one game. This was recorded by MSN Games. Earlier this year, OnLive announced a partnership with Juniper Networks. They've now updated all their data centers to use the company's high-efficiency hardware. This is just an initial switch with plans for future improvements. Get more details on these stories and more at onlivefans.com news.